wonder how much you can make as a short-term rental owner. I know for me and Amber, it was staggering. I mean, it was staggering to start to see the numbers that can come up because we realized very quickly, and I'm gonna show you my numbers here, so stay tuned in this video. I'm gonna show you my actual inside of our Airbnb account, which I'm not allowed in. Amber tells me to stay out, but I'm gonna sneak in here to show you the numbers in here. But when we did our first rental, it was December of 2019. It was literally the last month of 2019. So it's been two and a half years we've been running these four, and now we have 13 Airbnbs. Most of our Airbnbs average around $5,000 a month in income. After all is said and done, after paying all the expenses on a short-term rental, you know, most people refer to it as an Airbnb, but it's really called a short-term rental because we also use VRBO to book our properties. And so we find that on average, we're netting a, between $1,500 and $2,000 a month in positive cash flow after paying the mortgage, after paying the taxes, after paying, um, utilities, so we have to pay for power, we have to pay for internet service, trash service, all those things. We're making between $1,500 and $2,000 a month in positive cash flow per property. So is it worth it? I will tell you it's 100% worth it. We have our 22-year-old son. He actually manages those properties for us. Now, Amber is the uh, CEO of that company. She manages and runs that company. They fired me a long time ago and said, Glenn, get out. We're going to run this company without you, which is fine by me. But I want to show you some numbers here. I actually pulled up in our Airbnb account so you can kind of get an idea of what it is. Hopefully you can see this on this screen. Hopefully I'm, I'm holding this at the right direction. This number right here shows our payout uh, since January of 2020. So January of 2020, uh, actually we can go to, we can go to uh, December of 2019. That would be a more accurate representation. 873, if you can see that number right there, $873,000 has been paid out to us in two and a half years. Now, here's where we have upcoming payments. See this button right here? A upcoming, this is thing, people that are already booked. Another $91,000 in people that are booked through August, right? Maybe, maybe some are booked beyond that, but that's pretty much August, 91,000. So if you add 91,000 plus completed payouts of 873, that's just a hair under a million dollars. And we actually also use VRBO as a booking platform, and I know that's probably another $100,000 in income from VRBO, that's a million dollars in two and a half years. So when people ask me, is it worth it to have a short-term rental? I don't know, is an extra million bucks in two and a half years worth it? Now that's not a net number to us, but our net is probably in the three hundred to $400,000 range, uh, maybe more than that, after all expenses, after property management and all that. And for Amber and I, for me especially, it's a totally passive income that comes in from short-term rentals. So I don't share that with you to brag. I only share it with you to show you that there's real numbers that are coming in because people like to use short-term rentals when they travel. And we started this train two and a half years ago realizing we didn't have to be in a vacation destination to capitalize on it. We happen to live in a vacation destination now, and it's a lot more competitive down here, but where those houses are, are all in the upstate New York area. They're not in vacation destinations. And over a million dollars have been paid to us, and the better we get, the more bookings we get, and the more we're charging more for our properties, and the more we're gonna make in the years to come. So if you ask me the question, is short-term rentals, are short-term rentals worth it? I don't know, is a million bucks in two years, two and a half years worth it to you? It is to me. Go out there and get one for yourself.